Hello friends, welcome to Database Academy. In this session, we are going to learn the major difference between delete and truncate. So delete command is used to delete a specific row or more than one rows. While in the truncate, it deletes the all records from the table. In delete statement, we can roll back the all the deleted rows, but in truncate, it's not possible. We cannot use the rollback command to get the deleted records. Delete statement is a DML operation. So we need a delete permission on this table. While truncate is a DDL command. So we need a, at least a alter permission on that table. There may be a where clause in the delete command in order to filter the record. While there is no where clause in the truncate command. Delete command is always slower than truncate command while truncate command is always faster than the delete command delete table is a logged operation so when when we delete the records from the table it actually logged in the transactional log table which make it slower while in the truncate table this also delete all the records from the table but it won't logged in the transaction log table instead it deallocate of the data pages of the table which make it faster okay so the next topic is the delete statement may fail if there is any foreign key defined while deleting the master table so let's say we have a foreign key on the master table and we are going to delete that row in that case it may be failed but in truncate, it, it cannot be failed because it delete all the records and it doesn't refer the foreign key constraint. Delete command can activate the delete triggers. So if we have any triggers, de delete triggers that can fired while deleting the records. The truncate command, it does not fire activate the delete triggers. Okay, so the last topic is the delete statement is executed using a row lock each row in the table is locked for deletion so when when we once we fire the delete statement it actually lock the records for deletion while in the truncate always locks the table and page but not each row so that is the major difference while deleting in the delete and truncate tables so this is the end of session if you have any question to be asked, you can write in the comment section and I will reply on that. Thank you for watching my channel. And if you learned something, then please subscribe my channel to get notification for my all the upcoming videos. Thank you.